Tell me, what is acting guilty? When police got the call to a busy U.S. bank branch in Columbia Heights last year, this is how they found 23-year-old Mississippi native Joe Morrow, sitting in a chair in the bank manager's office, leaning back with his hands folded. Morrow wanted everyone to know what happened. I just got through working like 12 hours, I think. The home Morrow stopped here at U.S. Bank in Columbia Heights to cash his paycheck for $900. Despite having an account, that simple transaction was anything but. They was all looking at me and just staring at me. And then looking at the check and then staring at me again, I'm like, now I'm already knowing like what they think and the, the check fake. The manager, she, he came over and said, Joe Morrow, your check fake. And I said, what? He said, you people are always coming in here with fake checks. Who do you think he met? Black people. I worked there, bro. And, and I'm, I'm going to report you too, bro. Morrow continued pleading his case with Police Sergeant Justin Pletcher in the room. Morrow's claim of racial profiling immediately met with this warning. Joe, I need you to calm down, first of all, okay? Don't say anything stupid because you're just going to get arrested for it. All right. They call me to walk in front of everybody talking about this is a fake check. That ain't a fake check. I work there. We could confirm that. Two minutes later. What's the name? Joe. A second officer arrives, and the bank manager asks police to take Morrow to an adjacent office. The manager told the officer, like, can you get him out of my office? He might touch anything on my desk. I'm like, I'm like, what? I'm like, that's, that's when I got super mad. Like, what? I'm going to touch something on your desk. Joe. That anger only visible for a second. Joe, let's go over there, man. When he complies with officer's orders and stands up. Okay, let's go. A split second, Morrow says he'll never forget. And like, definitely when I got handcuffed and stuff, everybody looking like, when I'm getting out, coming out of his office, I was handcuffed, so people are looking. How did that make you feel? Like crazy, like like I'm a criminal or something. Like like I, I'm doing like something bad. Like I'm, I actually came here with a fake check. I didn't threaten him. I, I got up, like you know, in the, in the, in the, like you know, like a, like a mad. Do you have anything on you that could hurt, harm, poke me anyway? No. I got the check the Neil said, "What day?" It started and all that, and how many hours I worked, all that. I could have came to here and showed them that. According to the police report, the bank manager said he'd received a lot of fraudulent checks using the UNFI logo. Morrow says the manager claimed he already called the company and confirmed the check was fake. So who do we need to call? But this body camera video shows the bank manager did not actually make that critical call until after Morrow was already in handcuffs. So it's a real, the check number's real. Morrow's employer confirmed the check was in fact real. And University of Minnesota professor Samuel Myers Jr. In 2015, he authored this study of discriminatory practices at banks in the Twin Cities, and he's focused on racial disparities in financial transactions for 35 years. I wish I could say that this was abolition. I wish we could say that this was an outlier. We, as black people, are aware that these things happen at banks at grocery stores, at supermarkets. This is a classic example of instances where things escalated beyond what they needed to escalate to. Okay, Joe, let's get these cuffs off. But Morrow's ordeal did not end when the handcuffs came off. So can I talk to you, man to man, real quick? For more than 10 minutes, Morrow remained in this office. They're making fake checks with that logo on it, right? Sergeant Pletcher did most of the talking. So what the branch manager has to do is call him make sure it's a good check. I need you to stay calm for that, okay? Because when you when you start acting like this, it makes you look even guilty. I'm not guilty. No, 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 I know. I'm saying but when, you, when you start getting upset and irate, it makes you look guilty. Well, you're acting guilty. And so the question is, what is acting guilty? Tell me, what is acting guilty? I'm sorry, but this is who I am. You believe me here before creating the racism that he feels. Don't do anything stupid. So play calm, play cool, and wait for you to be validated. But in a statement, Chief Lenny Austin said his department reviewed the incident and found the officer's actions were reasonable and they conducted themselves professionally. And if you feel it's a racist thing, okay, 
handle it differently. Sergeant Pletcher wouldn't go on the record with us. By that time, his lawyer had sent two letters to U.S. Bank demanding a settlement and an explanation. They've never taken any accountability. They've never truly apologized to Mr. Morrow. In October, U.S. Bank declined our request to interview manager Asquith or anyone else with the bank and instead sent us this statement saying, U.S. Bank is committed to fairness toward everyone we serve regardless of race, adding, we dispute the facts as they're being portrayed to you. Two weeks later, the bank quietly reached an undisclosed settlement, meaning no one with U.S. Bank or Morrow can ever talk about what happened here again. Hey, Joe, man. I'm sorry you had to go through this, man. Any additional apology, now confidential. Keep working hard. In my opinion, this guy was singled out and treated wrongly. They should have validated the check the same way they validate all checks, bringing him to an office and accusing him of having a fake check before it was determined to be fake is bias in action. Though they didn't say anything about his color, this is an all too common example that people will be able to point to and say it is based on color. The bank failed in this case and just causing themselves to look bad and continue people's belief of color playing a part in how he was treated. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.